Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a blender. So if you didn't see my video a while back, I asked, I showed you guys this blender that I created in redstone. You guys got the 6,000 likes, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much for that. But this is a working blender. Now, one thing I really love about this is it actually looks like a blender. Just how cool does that look? So what we actually do to use the blender is we place the ingredients inside of the uh, blender here like so. We heard a little tune there play and that means the blender is ready to go. So we go ahead, turn on the blender by pressing this button. And then it's blended and we've just got our homemade brew here, a potion of regeneration. So <laughs> how cool is that? That's just really awesome. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this today. So the materials that you are going to need is 14 redstone dust, 3 redstone torches, 6 redstone repeaters, 5 redstone comparators, 8 droppers, 1 observer block, 10 hoppers, 1 sticky piston, 1 note block, 1 stone button or you can get a wooden one if you like, 2 chests, 1 slab of your choice, 1 black shulker box, a minecart with a hopper, 1 normal rail, 1 glass block, 1 iron bar, 1 black carpet and 64 blocks of your choice. Jeez that was a long list. So the first thing that you want to do is decide where your blender is going to go. So mine is going to go on this block here. From here what we're going to do is dig a 4 wide by 4 long by 4 deep hole. So dig out on that block where you decide where the blender is going to be. And then dig 3 blocks forward. So 1, 2, 3. 3 to the left here. 3 back towards the front. And then we're just going to go back to the start here. And then dig out the center blocks. Now dig this down three more layers. Now you want to come to the right side of the hole here. Just above here is where we initially dug out and that's where your blender is also going to be. What you want to do is at this back right corner here, we're going to get a chest, place that down. And then on top of that, we're going to have two hoppers going on, or two hoppers on top of it. So crouch, jump, then right click, and then do that one more time. Then we're going to go ahead and bring this towards the front. So one, two, three. On this final piece, or on this final hopper here, place a rail. So crouch, right click, get your minecart with hopper, and place that on top. On this block just to the right here, we're going to place two blocks, so one, two, and then to the left of that top block there, we're going to place grass. Now let's destroy those. We're going to get our iron bars out, place it to the left of this block here, carpet on top of that, and then we're going to go down back into the hole, and what you want to do is place the shulker box under this, but it has to be upside down, so just right click the bottom of the glass. Over here at the chest, what we're going to do is dig out this block in front and then one more towards the front here. We're going to put redstone torches on those left faces of those blocks there. We're going to leave one block and then dig out these ones here. Place redstone comparators going into those blocks that the torches are on. We're going to place blocks above the redstone repeaters here, so crouch them right click. And then also two to the right there like that. We're going to place comparators on, on these two blocks on this side, facing towards the left. Then get our redstone out. Two redstone here, and then also two redstone on the ground there. We're going to get our hoppers here, and place two going into these comparators. So right click this back face of the comparator, make sure you're also holding shift. And then you'll notice that the funnels point in towards it. We're then also just going to dig out this block here and then we're going to place hoppers going into these blocks here. So again we just right click like that. And the funnels uh, should be pointing in towards the blocks. 
Now we're going to head back up to the top here. And now we need to dig a three wide by six long by five deep hole. Now where we actually start is you want to come in front of your blender here. And then what we're going to do is go back one block and then to the right. And this is where we're going to start our hole. So dig out this block, two to the right here, then go five towards the back. So one, two, three, four, five, two to the left here. Oops, and that just went in the hopper. Uh, it won't be a problem though. And then go back to the start here. And then dig out the center blocks. And now we need to dig this down four more layers. That's one. And there we go, we've got a five deep hole now. Next what we're going to do is just after these torches here, so this next kind of column of blocks along, we're going to dig out these two blocks in the ground here temporarily. And what we need to do is get our droppers here and place them to the right of these bottom hoppers here facing downwards. So crouch them right click like that. I'm just going to dig out this block here and now just place uh, the blocks back. Now we're going to place droppers under these um, droppers here facing upwards. So, like that. Oops. Now coming out of these bottom droppers here, we're going to get our comparators. Place two coming out like that. We're going to lead them into some blocks. So two there. At the end here, what we're going to do is place a redstone torch. Dig out this block to the right of it. Uh, we're temporarily going to place a block here, then place your note block there. Uh, we dig out that block underneath so we just get a different note sound. We're going to place one more block here at the start. On these first initial two blocks we placed, place redstone, and then after this place a redstone repeater. Lead that into a block, and then we're going to place one more down the bottom here, and also one there. Redstone on this block here. Redstone on that one. I'm going to place a block here and instead place a redstone repeater so it doesn't connect up with that redstone. We're going to lead this repeater into a block, uh, but before we actually do that, what we're going to do is dig out this block that is kind of leading into this one here and then the three above it. We're going to go up one block here dig out this block and then the one above it and then also go forward one more uh, layer of blocks. At the end here place a block with a piece of redstone dust on top. We're then going to lead a comparator into that block and then place a our observer here on this top block here Ooh, and make sure it's facing the correct way. So make sure that the output is a uh, facing, oh what the, whoops, so make sure the output is facing towards us, so the, bl the blinker should be on this side here. Then in this kind of column of blocks here, we're going to place droppers face going up to the top, so crouch, jump, then right click, all the way to the top. Come back down to the hole here, lead this repeater into a block. Here what we're going to do is place our sticky piston. Place that facing upwards, block on top, and then a block behind it here with a repeater going into this dropper here. Two redstone on top of those droppers. On top of this repeater here, we're going to place a block, so crouch, then right click. Two redstone going up like that. Then to the left of this block here, we're going to place two blocks. Going into that redstone, place a repeater, and then before this, we're actually going to destroy that block. And we're going to use that slab we have, place that on the top half of that block there, redstone here, and then also we're going to, going to cut that redstone off there by placing a block. This hopper and chest, come back over to this side here. Dig out this block there right next to actually the one below it. 
and then place it going into this bottom dropper, so crouch, right click, and then put the chest on top. You can also destroy the block above so you can gain access to the chest to refill it. Head back up to the top here. To the right of this hopper minecart we're going to place a block, so we're just going to put one here and then go back to the start there. And finally place your button on top of that block there. Now that is the construction complete, what we've got to do now is actually configure it, so what you're going to need to do is get two non-stackable items, so I've just got two wooden swords. You're going to need to get 40 throwaway blocks, so I've just got 40 cobblestone, not going to use them. You're going to need to select your ingredients, so I've chosen watermelon and apple, so you're going to need to get two of those um, items. Make sure that they stack up to 64 as well, you can't have anything that doesn't stack up to 64 or it will break the system. And then the result of combining those two ingredients, so uh, I'm going to be having uh, potions of regeneration. So let's go ahead, let's go down to the system here. Uh, we'll come back over to this side. What we're going to do is in these two bottom hoppers here, place the two wooden swords. Let's make sure that's all good. And you'll see these comparators are now detecting that they're in those um, droppers. Uh, let's head back up to the top here. Then over on this side here, what we're going to do is we actually need to get, get an anvil out. And what you need to do is split this stack of 40 up into 10s and then rename each stack to a random string of characters. So just something that nobody could actually guess. Whoops. So that's looking good. And the last one. <laughs> that was really strange. But then let's go ahead and you want to open up this, these two hoppers here. So this first one, uh, let's just take out those three dirt, just got in there by accident. What you want to do is in the four remaining slots, place five of the cobblestone from each of those stacks in there, and then your first ingredient in the first slot. Then for the next one here, we're just going to put those remaining stacks into the four end slots and then your second ingredient in the first slot. Then in this chest over here you simply just want to place those uh, potions or the result of combining those two ingredients. And last you want to choose whatever tone you would like for the uh, note block here so whatever <laughs> you can choose you could even make it like a, uh, a longer tune if you know what you're doing you could create a long tune I don't know whatever you like, and the blender is ready to go. Now it's that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works and I'm again going to explain it like you would actually use the blender. So what happens is when you first throw in our, uh, your items here, um, these go into the shulker box. Now just below the shulker box is a minecart with a hopper. Now you might be wondering why we're actually using, using that there. Well, if we actually use the hopper instead, it would actually disable the use of being able to open up the shulker box because um, the only thing that is blocking the shulker box is the minecart hit the the track the the rail down below. But because the hit box is not as high, um, it allows the shulker box here to actually be opened. So that minecart with hopper sucks the items down, then puts it into the hopper below. It then goes into this next hopper here. Now what we've actually got here is basically an item filter so you might have guessed it when we we're actually configuring it so what this does here is when it actually reaches a total of 23 items now the only way it can reach 23 items is if it's a melon or it's one of these really random um, pieces of cobblestone with this random name on it um, and that's why we renamed it because we basically don't want anybody to be able to guess it so the only real way you could actually do this is by putting in a melon. So when that reaches 23, this comparator is going to send out a signal strength of 2. It's going to power that redstone under there, which will actually power this repeater. Turn off this redstone torch and then allow one of these melons to go down and then it will be reset back to this default state here. Same for this one as well. 
Now, as well as turning this torch off and then back on, it also powers these droppers over this side. I should mention that this here is just a throwaway chest, so any items that don't match the watermelon or apple will just go into this chest here, so maybe someone will throw in a diamond or something by accident, who knows. Uh, but yeah, if the correct ingredient does go in, it powers one of these uh, hop droppers down below. If both, once both of them have been powered and the item is shot up into this top dropper, these comparators will become unpowered. So this allows this torch to come on, which it sends a note tune, or this, this note block will send out a tune. But also here what happens is this repeater turns off, turning off all this redstone here. This piston will retract back down, and then that means that the blender is ready to be blended. So the person will press the button here to turn it on. This will send out a signal into this redstone, into this repeater, powering this redstone back on. Uh, powering this block here will actually um, power that dropper below here, which um, if you remember is behind this hopper here and it has the potions inside of it. So that sends it up into this hopper here. Uh, down below here we actually have a quick little item elevator using an observer so we detect anything in this bottom dropper here if there's an item in send a signal out it will power this redstone the observer will pick that something has changed here send a signal out into these droppers the observer will again detect that all oh, this comparator will turn off now this will go back to unpowered the observer will again then send another signal out pushing the item all the way to the top here and shooting it out at the player. And then also here, this is a little monostable circuit. So we send out a quick pulse of redstone, which will power these top droppers here to put the item back down into the bottom one uh, so it can reset. So that is going to end off this tutorial today, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. I appreciate all the love you guys leave on these videos. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below. And also subscribe to keep update with all my latest tutorials. I suggest you put press the post notification button as well, because that means you'll definitely get notified when these when, when any new tutorials do come up. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye bye.